Hey, Jay here. We're out with the 2018 Honda CRF250R. This has long been one of my favorite bikes for years. They came out in 04, carbureted from 04 to 09, and were kind of my favorite bike back then. Uh, really fun, good bikes back then, really reliable, good. 2010, they fuel injected the bike, and so nine years later, we have a brand new version of this bike. Uh, long overdue, the uh, Honda platform's been the same for a while, so now they have a new updated version. Um, big news is the dual overhead cams, dual pipes, so dual mufflers and dual headers, electric start, downforce directly into the engine, so completely new engine chassis, more like the new 17, 18 Honda 450, so full new bike. And so uh, we're going to put some laps on this thing, compare it to the 17, and who knows, we might even have fun and compare it to our 2010 model. So. We're looking forward to putting some laps on this thing out here at Zaka Station at the Honda Intro and seeing what we think. So we got the novice opinions kind of established here. We went and rode this thing uh, quite a bit here at Zaka. Uh, great time, track is amazing. It's a really fun track in Central California, private deal. Um, one of the things I didn't mention is this thing has new forks, dual spring, kind of like what we're used to and I've always liked. And the, we did ride the 17. And the first thing you notice is those suspension's not nearly as good as this bike. The, the suspension is way better on this bike with the dual spring than the older air fork. We weren't a fan of that air fork they ran from uh, 15, 16, 17. Uh, we would put on the older spring fork, and this has kind of an updated version of that, but even better yet, what's been on the CRF 450 last year and now this year. So really good updated show of fork uh, to go along with the, the rear shock. This bike is really good bike. Um, now, that, so it's a really good bike, and the power is really good, uh, way better bottom, uh, kind of better rev, kind of better throughout. I did notice a little bit more vibration in my hand than I did on the older bike, but good overall power. In this class, the 250 class, the KTM and the Yamaha, uh, and you can go Husqvarna as well, but those are the top bikes, and kind of guys are back and forth between those bikes. How does this bike stack up in there? I'd say it's right in there. Um, I couldn't say it's better than any of those without riding them at the same time. But if you're a Honda guy and you like 250s, this is a great bike for you to get back on the 250s and have a competitive bike in that class. So really good bike. I really like the feel of it. Um, it is a bit heavier than some of the other bikes, than the, than the KTM and Husqvarna, but didn't necessarily notice it too much on the track. I'm not a huge jumper and um, doesn't seem to be much of a problem in the 450 class as well. Uh, the electric start's awesome. Everything feels good on the Honda. Um, even the clutch, which isn't a hydraulic clutch, still feels good. Everything feels nice, feels, feels good. Uh, great bike. So we had a good time testing this thing out and definitely way better than a 17, obviously. And uh, you can't go wrong. So again, if you're a Honda guy uh, and you wanna get back on a capable 250F, this could be a bike for you. And uh, check back in to see more.